Okay, um, so now we are ready to um, start mixing our tertiary hues. Um, and again, remember tertiary hues are those hues that um, sit right in between a primary and a secondary, it's adjacent secondary, right? So here we have our primary yellow, here we have our secondary orange that we mixed up earlier. Um, here is a uh, tertiary yellow orange, right? Yellow orange that I had that I had mixed up previously. Um, and so really, when you are doing this, I mean, I, we, we can talk about writing down a formula as we um, as we sort of develop it as we go. Um, my guess is it's probably going to be probably about two parts of our more orangey yellow, which is our cadmium yellow medium. That'll put us closer to yellow orange to begin with, right? And so probably about two parts of that and one part of our cadmium red light is my guess. But obviously we're gonna have to test that out and see if that's correct. There is no white in this at all. If we were to add white to this, um, it's going to make it dull, pale, pasty, nasty, right? So there's no need for any white in this at all, um, mostly because yellow is already so light in value to begin with, right? So none at all. Um, we wanna be careful about our yellow orange right, because of the bigger value difference in the yellow, you know, between the yellow and the orange. We want to make sure that we have the, in fact, the hue midpoint, right? It might end up being that a true yellow orange is a little bit um, closer in value to our orange, right? So it might be, it might not sit value-wise right in between the degree of lightness, okay? You wanna really look for the flash of yellow against the orange, be able to see that, and make sure that's not more dominant than, let's say, the flash of red that you will see against the, um, the yellow, okay? My guess is this, I mean, this is a pretty good estimate here. Um, so this really, this, I'm just trying to flatten this out some. This really actually is pretty good um, at that hue midpoint, right? Kind of right in in an even step in between those two those two hues. Okay, so that's kind of what we want to aim for. Um, notice I have a lot more of these test uh, chips here that we had cut up previously. This may be a good time to cut up some more of them, just because you may want to test, you know, four or five of these chips um, and then after they dry, pick the one that you think, you know, is the, is the best, um, is the best match for your yellow orange. Try to remember that recipe and then mix up that larger quantity. So let's give a shot. Um, this is sort of what we're kind of trying to match here. We'll put it right here. Okay. And then um, we are trying to get that yellow orange that sits right in between this yellow and orange. So what did I say before? I think two, uh, let's try. I think there's gonna be two parts of this. Cadmium yellow medium, about the same size here. And then one part of our cadmium red light and nothing else. So let's see how that goes. We may find out we need something a little different, but I think that's gonna, yeah. Okay, that might be, I think we may end up needing a little bit more cadmium yellow medium. That is my guess, but let's try this to be sure. Okay, so we're gonna scrape these together, have a nice clean palette knife. And again, we're gonna set about mixing, scraping. Oh yeah, and this is the back. <laughs> This is the problem here. This is the back. That's why things are going weirdly here. Um, so this is the back of my palette, uh, my paper, my disposable palette sheet because I ran out of actual palette sheets and I don't have any wax paper in the house. If that happens to you, wax paper, which a lot of people do happen to have around, um, is a good 
surface to mix on in a pinch, right? Because it doesn't absorb into the surface, as you can see this is doing. Okay, already, right, I can see that we are not as yellow as we want to be here. So let's add, we may not need a, a full, um, you know, a full whole blob of yellow. We might though, so let's, let's, let's mix in about that much more and see where we are. That might actually work, but let's see, maybe not. Cadmium red light is a pretty strong pigment, just in general. Right, so that really can make a difference. Remember, this is gonna dry down a little darker, but we really wanna keep our eye on the amount of yellow that is here and see. This is getting pretty close to what we want. Let's add that we are really very close to where we want to be. So I'm going to just add a tiniest bit, a little bit more yellow there. And I think that should do it. Okay, so let's just say it's about, what, three parts, um, I think, maybe a little bit more. Three parts, cadmium yellow, medium, to one part of our... What is that? Cadmium red light. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit more than three parts. How's that looking? See, to me that looks a little, I think we could go even more. So maybe we go closer to three and a half parts. Dare I say four, let's try. Let's go overboard and see if that still works because Oh, God, sorry about that. Let's keep all this crap out of here, sorry. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, I still think we're uh, good here, right? We're starting to get, well, we're starting to get a little too yellow, but I still have, all right, yeah, so maybe three and a half, almost four parts yellow medium cadmium yellow medium to one part cadmium red light looks like the winner okay and again this is something that you really want to look at rather than just simply following my recipes blindly Right, and it's not enough to look at these kind of close together. You want to re I mean, this is you may want to wait till it's dry or use your hair dryer. You got to butt them right up against each other, right? To to really be comparing. Um, and if you're doing that, you know you should see this real gradual progression. I suppose we could say that it's a little tiny bit maybe on the yellow side, but that's pretty good, right? In between, a nice progression. Um, it doesn't necessarily seem like it belongs more to the yellow than it does to the um, to the orange. Um, okay, so let's just write that down. All right. So let's say what four three point five to four parts. Cad yellow oop, medium. Plus, what, one part cad red medium. All right, so that's about it. Um, all right, so we'll go on to the next one shortly.